Hello, welcome to the video series of Streaming Integrator Tooling. This video series will walk you through all the features of Streaming Integrator Tooling 1.1.0 product which we released recently. Streaming Integrator is specialized in providing various streaming use cases. Streaming Integrator Tooling is the developer tool we provide for developers to create their streaming solutions seamlessly. Now let's dive into first look at Streaming Integrator Tooling. WSO2 Streaming Integrator Tooling is an open source product where you can download the distribution from our website freely. Once you downloaded the distribution, you can navigate to the bin folder and run the tooling.sh file if you are using a Linux or a Mac to start up the tooling server. It is a web application, so once you run the server you will be provided with a web URL which you can copy paste to your favorite browser and run the tooling server. At the very first time, when you first start up the SI tooling application you will be prompted with our tour guide. This is a guided tour for the new users to showcase main features. This is the main landing page of Streaming Integrator Tooling. I will explain each component briefly. So in the landing page, we have some pre-built samples which you can try out. As you can see, we have some most prominent use cases such as CDC, connecting to Kafka, reading a file etc. So you can click one on it. Let's say I clicked on Kafka sample, then you can find out the content of the sample and also the instructions on how to run this sample. Instructions includes usage of inbuilt clients to test out the samples and also on how to install external libraries if needed. Because some samples need external libraries which we do not bundle by default, but, we have the tools in place where you can install those without any hassle. In order to install these additional libraries, we can use an inbuilt tool called Extension Installer. As you can see when I open the Kafka sample, there are errors shown here. This is because as explained before we are not bundling required external libraries which needed for the Kafka. So without having the user to download them manually and put them in the tooling pack, we have this new tool called Extension Installer where you can search the corresponding extension and install it. So I can search Kafka and just click Install. Once it is done installing, it will mention that it is successfully installed and need to restart the editor. Once you restarted the server and refresh the browser, we can see that the Kafka sample has taken the external libraries and no longer shows the errors in the application. So likewise you can use the extension installer to install any external dependencies on any extensions we provide out of the box. So you have the all the instructions here, where you can follow each step and run the sample successfully. Also we have more samples, like when you click this more samples button, you will be prompted with the rest of the samples. Here you can search here and find out specific samples. Let's say, I want this sample, so this is something which used to read from a HTTP source and do some processing. Likewise if you have the samples in your mind you can use this tool to search and find out that. Also we have, quick links here to easily navigate you to the tutorials, start guides, CD grammar language, documentation etc.